Good morning, third graders. Um, I'm going to be teaching your lesson to you on video today. Uh, we are going to be doing a watercolor painting, and it comes from the country of Japan. And um, if you remember in the past, whenever we do um, artwork, we think about putting it in the middle of the paper and usually other things are around the outside edge of it well in uh, this painting which is called chinese vegetable painting um, they are putting the vegetables on the outer edge of your paper instead of in the center and in the center is going to be empty so um, they like the negative space that the vegetables create uh, whenever they do this painting. So there's certain vegetables that are really good about um, about painting this. Some of them, uh, not so much. So I'll give you suggestions on which ones really work well. Let me grab a pencil. Okay, these are some, some suggestions of some vegetables that you can use in this painting. Uh, and if you don't have any paint, that's fine. You can just do a drawing and um, color it in. Um, remember, we're just looking for the negative space that it creates. So some suggestions, um, some suggestions are um, a carrot, which is just a triangle with the stalk. Don't forget to add in the texture of the carrot. Uh, a green pepper or, well, it's a, it's a bell pepper. Uh, it can be green, red, or uh, yellow. So that's a good one. Uh, another one you could do is part of a vegetable. Looks like a little tree. That would be some broccoli. Um, another one that's good to do is a tomato. And tomatoes come in green, yellow, and red, so you have to choose. Another one that is good is shaped like an egg, and it's purple, and it's called a eggplant. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. I can't; that are not coming to me right now. But if I think of them, I will let you know. So when you pick your vegetables, you want to have a variety of color. So I'm going to choose. We'll have an orange carrot, a red tomato a purple eggplant, and a green pepper. Uh, you gotta pick out four. Now, you're not gonna draw the whole vegetable. You're only going to be drawing half of it. So this is just an example of where you would put the line of symmetry to divide your vegetable in half. That's what that is, is a line of symmetry. So I've chosen the vegetables that I want to use in my painting. So this was just an example of some. Um, I know we could probably use onions, but I'm, I'm going to hold off on the onions right now. Um, well, no, I've changed my mind. I will, we will do an onion. There's two different ways you can do an onion. Um, this will give you a variety of color. I was just thinking of that. This is an onion with the little roots. Here are, is the stalk. So if you divided it in half, it would be, the line of symmetry would be there. But you could, and that could be a yellow onion, by the way. You could think about an onion that has been sliced. And so that's how they make onion rings. And we could do a purple onion, which I really like. But the supermarket says red onion, but it is a purple onion. I love purple onions. So we could divide that in half and just draw half of the purple onion. So that gives you something else uh, besides um, the eggplant that's purple. So we've got yellow, green, red or yellow, purple, orange, purple, green, and the tomato could be red, green, or yellow. But I have chosen vegetables that can be have a line of symmetry, and that means it's even on both sides of the line. That's what symmetry is. If you've done any math at all, you've seen this word, symmetry. So remember that. So now on with the painting. So when you get your paper, and if you don't have watercolor, you can use uh, acrylic. I don't know if I told you before, but I went to the Dollar Tree the other day, and they've got acrylic paint in there, and it's not really too bad. They've got tempera, too, uh, about two ounces for a dollar, and that's a really good price. Really, you only need the basic colors, red, yellow, and blue, black, and white, and you can make any color with just those colors. 
if you know how to mix them right. And I hope since I've taught you that before, you can remember how to mix colors. But anyway, back to the Japanese, I mean the uh, Chinese vegetable painting. Uh, I'm gonna do half of my carrot. Oops, let me scoot that over so you can see it. Half of my carrot. Don't forget the stalk. Put in the texture of the carrot. Need to round that off a little bit. Um, I think I'll do half of a pepper because it's going to be green. So half of a pepper hanging off the edge. Probably about as, a little bit wider than your hand. That's a good size. Over here, I think I will do an eggplant because it's purple. Remember, I want to do a variety of color. Having a hard time with my paper, guys. So it's a half of an eggplant. So it's half of an egg shape or oval. So there's my eggplant. Let me go in a little bit, there we go. Uh, then over here, I'm going to draw half of a tomato. And there's the stock. So what you'll do now with a black crayon, um, you're going to outline all of your vegetables and then you're going to paint inside of them uh, with watercolor. Um, the Chinese uh, actually use ink, black ink, um, to paint paint these paintings with, uh, but I don't have any ink and I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't either. So black, a black crayon is fine. Uh, I'm just using, I've got an oil pastel, so if you have those, you could use that. And, oh, I forgot. Remember I was talking about the negative space? That's why the Chinese like to draw their vegetables on the outside. This space in here is the space inside uh, your art. The nothing goes in here. So it kind of looks like to me, and this will help you see it better, what negative space. A negative space is around an object. So it kind of looks like a collar on a shirt, maybe a um, the side of a shirt, and maybe... Uh, Maybe the other side of the shirt, and this one is kind of like uh, a, a whole body shape, except where the legs and the arms are left out. So that's what it kind of looks like to me. Um, but anyway, outline your fruits and vegetables, or excuse me, just vegetables in black. Then you're going to come in and paint in between the lines. And then that will be your Chinese vegetable painting. Um, all finished up but if you don't have a uh, watercolor just you know color inside of it because you want a variety of color um i'm not going to paint mine uh but i will tell you my colors i've got i start with a lot if i'm doing watercolor i start out with the lightest color first which would be orange it saves your uh water from getting so dark so i do orange first uh probably red tomato next um purple and I mean excuse me purple eggplant and then I would do the green which I'm gonna do a green pepper I would do all the green stems and leaves last with my green uh, pepper because then that way you don't have to rinse your brush out so much and you save a lot of paint that way so I uh, hope you enjoy learning about uh, Chinese uh, vegetable paintings and have fun with it send me a picture of it on dojo